everything happens for a reason. This is the most rewarding thing that I've done in my life. It makes me feel good. And Hi, I'm Zora and this is Joey. I'm a volunteer at AGWC Rock and Rescue and I've been a volunteer for the last year. I had some food that I wanted to donate to the rescue and I called the nearest uh, rescue and uh, AGWC happened to be right around the corner. Um, and instead of going through the parking lot, I went through the back alley and I saw all these beautiful dogs and I just got sucked in. And he's one of the dogs that I met the first time and I totally fell in love with him. Um, he just reminds me of my dog, kind of the coloring and the breed. Um, so yeah, I came every single day to walk him. Not one day did I miss. It took me a month to warm up to him, you know, for him to warm up to me too. But uh, the rest is history. I love volunteering here. It just makes me feel good on the inside. Um, just at least dedicating an hour of my day for these, um, you know, dogs that don't even get to go out uh, for the next 23 hours of their day. So that one hour really makes a huge difference for them. Um, it just changes their life, you know, until they get adopted. Um, they have to live in a kennel. So it's nice to have volunteers that can dedicate at least 30 minutes to an hour of their day to come volunteer. You know, you can play with the cats. You can come walk the dog. Oh, this one, he is about six years old. He's a pit bull terrier mix, some kind of, we don't know exactly, but some kind of pit bull mix. Um, he is a very strong boy. He has a lot of energy. He can run, he can hike, he can walk for days. Yes, he loves me. He wants me to pet him. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's just such a sweet dog. He just has a lot of energies. He, that's why he, I take him for an hour because he needs that. He gets overstimulated and he gets too excited and that's not good. So um, an hour for him is usually, you know, um, the best and then he's tired and then we just hang out in the grass and, and just, you know, I give him belly rubs and, and he loves it all. But definitely would adopt him if it was the perfect world, you know, but he's my baby. He knows it too. So yeah, if you have any time to spare out of your day, um, you can go to the Rock and Rescue website to sign up for a volunteer program. It's going to be below this video. Um, it's super easy. It feels good as a person to be able to help these animals. Um, it's really rewarding in so many ways. Um, I've definitely gotten sucked into it. If I don't go to the rescue, I honestly don't have a good day. So visit the website. You can also come and meet all the dogs. They have a lot of dogs. So I just love them. I, I'm just so happy to be around them. They're so sweet. You know, they, they, a lot, a lot of them have been through a lot in life. Um, some we don't even know their stories, and you know, you can look at them and be like, oh, you know oh, that dog is aggressive, or oh, that dog bites, or this, and but you don't know the story behind that. So that's usually, for me, I always, you know, you have to be patient with these dogs. Also for people that adopt these dogs, you have to give them time to uh, decompress. You cannot expect a dog that has been pooping and peeing in their cage and eating and sleeping in their crate or in their kennel to just magically, you know, um, know how to potty, you know, like potty outside. You have to teach them. These are like babies, you know, you have to, you have to give them the time to decompress and, you know, patience and training and they're like babies. So if you won't give up on your actual human kids, don't give up on them. Give them time to just, you know, to just kind of like soak up their environment and adapt to their new home. And then um, you'll get the best friend you've ever had and loyal forever. Like, they never give up on you, so don't give up on them. It just makes me feel like a sense of peace and just like sit Joey, sit, sit. It just makes me feel like 
I don't know, just peaceful and, and, and it, not just good about myself as a person, but just helping them because their voice, you know, they're just, uh, they're voiceless. We have to be the voice for the animals. If you cannot adopt a dog right now, um, offer to foster. If you cannot foster or donate, if you cannot donate, volunteer. Um, you can, you know, it's, it's super easy. All you have to do is just come in for orientation. They just show you how to be around the dogs, you know, just how to walk them what areas to avoid um, and then you can come anytime honestly it's just it just makes you feel good it's just a, a, a way to just give back you know it's just it's free you don't have to pay anything you just have to and you get a workout I this is a workout for me cardio one hour and for Joey and I love him so much so yeah. <laughs>